Hey YouTube, this is TechLink9 once again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the correct drivers for your Galaxy Nexus. This will work on Sprint, Verizon, and the GSM Unlocked Model, International, or the US one, right? So let's begin. You have your phone here. Make sure it's plugged in, and make sure you plug it into your computer. So you can see it's just plugged in. And now we're going to be installing and downloading and installing Galaxy Nexus Toolkit. And obviously, all the time, it will be in the description, just like usual. So, just download that and install it. Once you got that downloaded, you will open it up, and you will get to this screen, as you can see here. And you can see that you have all these options to go for. If you have a GSM model, you have all these options. If you have a GSM USA model with wallet, you have that option. You have CDMA, Verizon, and Sprint. So, you have all these options. Choose the correct one that you have. And you can see the correct the versions. So if you don't know what version you have and the build number, all you're gonna be doing is going into settings. So let's go to settings, settings, about phone, all the way at the bottom. And you can see your build number right there, and your Android version. So just find that. Mine is IMM seven six D. So that is actually going to be 5, so I'm going to choose 5, 5, enter, choose the correct one for your phone. And now you have all these options to install, that, unlock, bootloader, and all that. But before we do any of that, I want to show you how to install the correct drivers. If you want to know how to install that, I, obviously have, I will have more videos on this. So just check out my channel, I will have how to unlock, how to install Clockwork Mod, my, Clockwork Mod Recovery and all that. So we're going to actually... First, install the correct drivers, so we're going to be choosing one, install slash uninstall Galaxy Nexus drivers on your PC. One, enter. Now it gives you the options if you have XP or Vista, Windows 7 or manual. So you're going to be first choosing one or two, don't choose three or four, that, that's, not, that's not the easiest way to go, so choose one or two. I have a Windows 7, so I'm going to be choosing two, enter. And now it says install drivers to your PC. You're going to choose one, enter. And now it says please wait. So we're going to be waiting. All right, now it's done. And now you can see an error occurred. All right, so operation started. The resource located did not load to MA entry. And now it says connect your uh, phone to your PC. We already did that. And it says it's okay if it didn't detect it. It says it still found it. So even if it says it failed, 99% of the time, it should work. All right, as you can see, it's still plugged in. 99% of the time, it should work. So even if it said failed, just wait until this goes back to the main menu. And that's how you install the drivers. Now, that's the first option. Let's say if it failed, you plugged it in again, and it's your, your computer still can't detect it. I'm going to show you the second way how to do it. Alright, we're going to press enter to go back to the main menu. We're going to go back to install slash uninstall drivers. So if it didn't work, do this option. So we're going to choose one. One, enter. And you're going to do manual instructions if it didn't work. Alright, so you can press three, enter. You're going to follow these, this whole setup. You're going to follow it step by step and by the end of this whole step, you will have drivers if it failed the first time. And if it failed the first time, do this and it will work guaranteed. And if you want to check it fully, install PDA Net from onto your computer and it will tell you if it has the correct drivers installed and it will install the drivers if it still didn't install. So this is TechLink9. I had to install the correct drivers for your GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to rate. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Really appreciate you guys. And don't forget to check my website, androidtech.blogspot.com. And check out my buddy, AppDroid7, where he does all the, all the same things and more reviews, comparisons, all that on Galaxy S3, Skyrocket, and Galaxy Note. Thanks for watching, guys.